Hey everybody, Chris Truder here, leading communications expert and business coach in Japan. How are you all doing? Happy Monday, happy September. Today is September 2nd, 2019. It's Monday morning, back to school. I know my wife is happy. Many people are happy, especially mothers. The kids have gone back to school. They're no longer in the house. Awesome. So anyway, today I wanted to continue with this series I started last week, Introduction to Toastmasters. As you know, uh, Aaron Beverly uh, won the International Speech Contest of Toastmasters a couple weeks ago in Denver, Colorado, to become the world champion of public speaking. So today I want to continue uh, talking about Toastmasters and share what is table topics. So what is table topics? Well, let me start with a, a quick story. Um, before I joined Toastmasters, I was working at a company called St. Jude Medical in northern Los Angeles, a city called Silmar, and the company had a Toastmasters club. It was a company-sponsored club, but it was open to the public. Anyone could join, but if you worked at St. Jude Medical, they would pay 50% of your dues and they would meet every Wednesday afternoon at lunchtime and at the time I had a job to where I couldn't take more than one hour off lunch so they actually met for a one hour and 15 minutes so but I did go to the open house I watched the meeting and I was blown away especially by this thing they call table topics so I was interested in Toastmasters because I, I would get really nervous speaking in front of a, of a group. So I was typically, like a lot of people, afraid of public speaking. So I was interested in joining the group uh, to give speeches. But when I went to watch this open house demonstration meeting, I saw they did table topics. And what it was is they would ask someone a question and then that person had to stand up and answer the question and speak about it for one to two minutes. Now, that may not sound very long, but for an inexperienced speaker, it is a long time, especially as you don't know what the question is going to be. It could be anything. Um, and, you know, this was one of the reasons I joined Toastmasters because I, would see, I saw very experienced speakers handle this brilliantly. They would get asked a question and they would speak one to two minutes and, and tell a story. I'm like, how do they do that? How are they able to speak, think so quickly and so spontaneously? So this is kind of what inspired me to join Toastmasters. So then after I joined Toastmasters at St. Jude Medical. It was called Pace Masters back in 2010. And a lot of you know, I, I got really into it. And after a, like a couple of years or so, uh, I loved being what you call the table topics master, the person asking the questions to people. And it was really funny. I forget the question I asked, but one time I had this engineer, he was new to the club. I asked him a fairly simple question, which I thought was simple. And for about the first 20 seconds, he was just didn't answer. He didn't know how to answer. And I saw what was happening, and this is very typical with engineers or, you know, very logical, analytical type thinking people. When they're asked a question spontaneously, it's very hard for them to answer it because they try to answer the question, question logically. For example, you know, if I ask a question like, you know, uh, how, how, what are your goals for this month? Or what are some reasons that people can't reach their goals? You know, wh why do people have such trouble uh, to stop smoking, et cetera? So, so it's interesting. In table topics, one thing you learn is uh, to answer quickly is to answer with the first thing that comes in your head and then just go with it, tell a story, and you know this helps unblock yourself from trying to answer the question logically 
now you may be asking, okay, great, so, so what? Well, I have found that uh, when you join Toastmasters, we do this every meeting, we do table topics. Um, this skill of being able to answer a question on the spot, one to two minutes, is a very uh, valuable skill that helps you in job interviews. Because in a job interview, a lot of questions you kind of expect, you could prepare for, but every once in a while in a job interview, you may get a question uh, that you're not prepared for. Something just, you know, from, from left field, like, oh man, I don't know how to answer this question. And that's the worst thing, uh, very uncomfortable to be in a job interview and get asked a question and then you're just blank. You have no idea what to say. And then you end up just rambling on. So again, uh, table topics, another uh, amazing skill that you can learn in Toastmasters of how to answer a question that you have not heard before and be able to speak about it for one to two minutes in front of a group of people. Amazing skill to learn and it, like I said, it applies to, helps you in job interviews. And also just in, in companies, you know, you may be in a business meeting and your boss or someone may ask you, so Chris, what's your opinion on this? So you want to, again, be able to speak uh, intelligently and share your opinion with one to two minutes. And it also not only helps you to think spontaneously and to speak very quickly, uh, it's also to to speak concisely and briefly, to not speak more than two minutes. Because again, table topics, as you can see here, Toastmasters table topics is one to two minutes. So I hope you enjoyed today's introduction to Toastmasters table topics. Again, if you're interested, if you're in Japan and interested in joining Toastmasters, uh, check out district76.org. That's the district of Toastmasters in Japan. Or just check out Toastmasters International website, toastmasters.org, and you can search for local clubs, for clubs you know, locally in your area. So for example, in Japan, there's about 200 clubs. Uh, probably 50% of those are in Tokyo, Yokohama. Um, and, uh, you know, I belong to Tokyo Toastmasters. We meet on the first, third, and fifth Thursday in Higashi Ginza from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. So hope you come and check us out if you're in Japan. And if not, uh, check out again toastmasters.org for clubs in your area. So anyway, take care. Thank you. Sayonara. Bye-bye.